What happens when a big store falls? In our story today, we'll explore the rise and fall of a household name, Bed Bath & Amp, beyond. This company, once a beacon of retail success, found itself on shaky ground as its stock began to plummet. The cause, Ryan Cohen, co-founder of Chewy.com and chairman of GameStop. His decision to sell most of his shares in Bed Bath & Amp, beyond, sent shockwaves through the market. As the news broke, investors around the world held their breath. This sparked a flurry of activity among a group of people on the internet, known for their role in the GameStop craze. Their rallying cries to hold the stock and squeeze short sellers echoed through the threads. The question on everyone's mind was simple yet daunting. Could this be the start of problems for Bed Bath & Amp Beyond? Amidst the questions, investors around the world held their breath. The effects were felt far and wide. Imagine a retail giant, once a beacon of success, now crumbling under the weight of its own debt. This was the reality for Bed Bath and Amp Beyond. The company found itself in a precarious situation, struggling with mounting debt and problems with stuff they sell that were shaking its very foundation. As the company wrestled with these challenges, the impact was significant. Missed interest payments began to pile up, a symptom of a much deeper problem. Store closures followed, as the company grappled with the harsh reality of its financial situation. These were more than just numbers on a balance sheet, they were tangible signs of a company on the brink. In a desperate bid to stave off bankruptcy, Bed Bath & Amp Beyond sought refuge in a daring strategy. The company managed to secure commitments from investors to raise over $1 billion in money. This was no small feat. It was an audacious move that highlighted the gravity of the situation, but this move, not without its detractors. Renowned investor Michael Berry, a figure known for his astute insights, issued a stern warning about the risks associated with this financing deal. His voice added to the growing chorus of worry from a man named Michael Berry, casting a long shadow over the company's recovery efforts. Time was running out for Bed Bath & Amp Beyond. The company was in a race against time, battling to regain its footing and restore investor confidence. But as we'll see, the challenges were far from over, and the dominoes had only just begun to. In the face of hard times, Bed Bath and Amp Beyond sought to adapt. The company, once known for its vast brick-and-mortar stores, began an aggressive shift towards online retail. It internet shopping, offering customers the convenience of shopping from the comfort of their homes. Stuff without going inside the store became a new normal, a crucial lifeline in a world where social distancing had become the norm. The company also introduced new product lines, aiming to attract a younger demographic. From chic home decor to eco-friendly kitchenware, Bed Bath & Amp, Beyond worked tirelessly to reinvent its image and stay relevant in an ever-changing market. But changes didn't end there. The company also launched a loyalty program, Beyond Plus, in a bid to encourage repeat customers and build build a loyal customer base. Subscribers were offered exclusive discounts and free shipping, an enticing proposition for any savvy shopper. But were these changes enough to save Bed Bath & Amp Beyond? Would these changes save Bed Bath & Amp Beyond from going out of business? In the end, the giant could not stand. Final chapter in the saga of Bed Bath & Amp Beyond was a big fall. February 20 marked the second worst monthly big fall in the company's history, as the stock plummeted a staggering 50%, teetering on the brink of bankruptcy. The company too, to stay afloat, drawing upon every available resource. They secured from people with money to raise over a billion dollars through the issuance of convertible preferred securities and warrants, even drawing a hundred million from borrowed money to repay outstanding debt. But efforts proved useless. The company's stock was no longer being traded, leading to a significant loss for many investors who had held on, hoping for a turnaround. The once bustling aisles of Bed Bath and Amp Beyond now echoed with the hollow sound of lost potential and broken dreams. And so that the big store Bed Bath and Amp Beyond had to close down, despite the best efforts of many, from the enthusiastic Reddit traders to the daring young investor Jake Freeman, the giant could not be saved. Stark reminder of the volatile nature of investment and the ruthless reality of business.